He tells me he gets off work early because he wanted to go grocery shopping for the house. He say usually he shops alone for the kids so they won't be grabbing unnecessary items and throwing them into the cart. You know, he's on a very strict budget. Understandable. He's a single dad. I get it. So he usually shops alone. This time he wanted to go out with his kids and do something. Treat them to wherever. He says he gets home, opens the door. He sees his two youngest kids sitting on the couch watching TV. He notices two pairs of shoes on the ground that he's never seen before. It's too big for any of his kids. So he asks his kids, whose shoes are these? Kids shrug their shoulder and they just point at his daughter's room which was closed he walks to the daughter's room open it uh, well I I, I I don't want I don't want to go too much in details about what his daughter was doing y'all man I, I, I don't got time for that man but let's, let's let's just say that he opened the door and asked her what the hell she was doing and she couldn't answer because her mouth was full now I'm not really cool with my neighbors like that for multiple reasons one I don't want them thinking I'm friendly because then problems get started constantly asking me for favors oh hey can you drop me off here can you pick me up here can I borrow someone I don't have time for none of that two I work all day listening to people I don't give a damn about fixing problems that ain't got nothing to do with me so when I get home after a long day the only thing I want to do is relax chill whatever like I was saying me and him aren't that close but I guess because he was so desperate for help he felt the need to say something to me and ask me for my opinion so after telling me all that he asked me have I ever seen guys coming out of his house bro I I, I ain't want to tell him that, that that's like an everyday thing with his daughter man like his his, his daughter is, is all the way live man I don't, I don't know what she got going on every time I come home she walking in and out the house with some new guy I'm, I'm looking like bro this girl is not playing this girl is something serious man so I look at him and I'm like oh maybe once or twice I know I'm bad y'all I'm bad I know I know just just bear with me y'all y'all probably thinking why you ain't tell him I, I'm not that's none of my business man that's none of my business but he's starts getting emotional you know because that's 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 his little girl man that's that's his everything he doesn't want to see his daughter be you know like that but it, it happens man i give him the best advice that i could give him because he's freaking out saying oh she graduates next june and she's going to ucf or uh, usf or something like that. i can't remember one of the universities and you know i calmed him down first and i began to tell him bro if your daughter ain't lose her virginity yet at this rate she's going to lose it pretty soon but you going off on her putting her on punishment and all that is not going to help the situation that's going to make it worse if anything what you need to do is go in there and talk to her and try to figure out why she's acting the way she's acting maybe she's acting the way she's acting because she doesn't have a male figure in the house which to say is nothing bad against you because at the end of the day you're doing what you have to do to put food on the table which is why you're constantly working with that being said if she ain't gave it up yet she definitely will in college especially if she went to a guy like me I'm, I'm, I'm talking about my undergrad years y'all I don't want nobody coming at me no come on now come on stay with me anyway I'm chilling man I, I ain't got time for the foolishness man my, my jersey been hung up but anyway back to the story I continue saying to him, if she runs into a guy like me at her college, it's over for her. And to be honest, most freshmen in college just want liquor, drugs. I mean, that, that's just how it goes. I said all that to him because his daughter is at that age, man. I, I think she was 16 or 17 at the time. His daughter is at that age where he needs to accept the fact that she might be one of those females that get passed around the campus, man. It Like, it happens. I told him all he can do right now is, you know, at this point is just talk to her and try to get through to her. If that doesn't work, he really needs to think about putting her on some form of birth control. I'm going to end it with a message to the youngest out here watching, man. To the young man watching. I know how hard it is, y'all boys. Believe me, I know. You was at Wendy's once, not you? Trying to get you a medium vanilla frosted with some fries. You with your homeboys just chilling. Y'all leave, and as y'all walking out, you see a girl that's around y'all age sitting alone at the table. Of course, all your homeboys look at you like, bro, go get that. Now you got a challenge. Now you can't look like a punk. Now, now you got to go and get it because you don't want them to think you're too scared. You walk over there. You introduce yourself to her. Start talking to her. She tells you she's just sitting there waiting on her mom to come. She should be there any minute. And so you start talking to her for a few minutes till her mom get there. Her mom pulls up and you're like, nah, man, I'm not about to let her get away. Let's exchange contact information. She gives it to you. Now, young men, pay attention now. I already know, as soon as you get that number, you're going to try to set that up immediately. I done been there before, y'all boys. I already know what y'all trying to do. I'm looking at you and saying this as someone that lived in your shoes. Listen to your parents or guardians or whoever's responsible for you. Listen to them. And if you don't have any of that, man, feel free to reach out to me, bro. Hop in the comment section or I'll leave my email contact down below. Email me and let me know what y'all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm having a problem with this. I'm having a problem with that. What's, what do you think is the best solution? What do you think is the best route? Let me know, bro. I ain't got no problem with helping y'all boys out.
But please, y'all boys, man, just just vibe, man, and just en enjoy your younger years, man. You don't want to be a baby having a baby out here in these streets, man, because it's a lot rougher than it seems. Believe me, bro, I done seen it from all angles. I seen it from all angles, so I know what I'm talking about. I got homeboys that got three, four, five baby mamas, man. They tell me every time. Man, if I can go back in time and do it all over again. I don't want any of that happening to y'all boys. So just vibe, man, you know, and just try, try your best to control yourself, man. To the young ladies watching, I know how hard it is, ladies. Believe me, I know. You was at Forever 21, wasn't you? Your parents are gave you a little spending money. Now you don't know how to act in front of your little friends. You get you some nice jeans, two t-shirts, and realize you still got some spending money left, so you go to the food court. You order your food, and text your parents to come and get you, and you sit down to eat. Some guy around your age approaches you, and you immediately thinks he's attractive. Y'all get to talking. He asks you for your contact information. You give it to him. Young ladies, pay attention now. Nine times out of ten, that young man just want one thing from you. I'm sorry to say it, but it's, it's true. So please, just be careful. A lot of times when you're young, you tend to think you know everything. But I'm telling you right now, just listen to your parents. Cause like They don't know everything, but they know more than you do. Because they've been there and they done did that. They made those mistakes before that you about to make now. I say all that to say this. Don't let your pride and your arrogance shut out your parents or guardians or whoever responsible. Because at the end of the day, when you end up in deep trouble, the only person that's gonna be there is your parents, cuz I swear to God, every time you get in trouble, where's your friends? Nowhere to be found. And who there to save you? Your mom, dad, or whoever it is responsible for you. I'm just speaking from experience, y'all. I don't, man, I'm speaking from experience, believe me. Anyway, y'all, I, I appreciate y'all for, for watching this, man. Believe me when I tell you, I was cringing at the thought of doing this, but I just felt like it was important to discuss this because some parents and guardians, like my neighbor, sometimes, you know, they don't have anyone to talk to or to vent to or to get advice from. As a parent, I know your main job is to keep your kids safe. With that being said, like I said earlier, your child is going to want to go out and do this, that, and the third. It happens, y'all. So parents, just try not to get upset with them. Man. Sometimes in life, we drive on the road and we make stops due to traffic, detours, or whatever distractions. But the point of the matter is, you making it to your destination. Now, some people make it there faster than others. Sometimes, you know, you will have people that get lost along the way. It happens. Don't get upset or feel disappointed because they got lost along the way. Tell them it's okay and get them back on track. They young, man. They, they, they gonna make mistakes. They supposed to make mistakes. Let them learn from it. Don't get disappointed in them because they made a mistake. Don't get disappointed in them because they got lost along the way. Don't fault them for it, man. Just be patient. But please, y'all, comment down below and let me know what y'all think, man. Like, let, let, let me know what y'all would do if you came home and caught your daughter or your son doing something they weren't supposed to be doing. Let me know what, the, what you would do if you was in that situation. What's the best form of action in that case? Also, comment and let me know, like, you know, if, if, I, if I was right or wrong about anything I said to my neighbor, man. Like, let, let me know. I don't think I said anything wrong to my neighbor. I, I think I kept it real. When I, because I really feel like sometimes a lot of people need to hear the truth. People don't need to hear you beating around the bush or try to sugarcoat crap. I ain't got time for none of that, bro. You ask me what my opinion is, I'm going to give it to you. Straight up. I'm not finna sugarcoat nothing. I'm not finna lie. Nah, forget all that. But anyway, y'all let me know if I was right or wrong, man. I, I, I can't wait to read it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Also, too, hit that bell symbol on the side so anytime I make an upload, a notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, hit that like and share. I look forward to reading all y'all comments, if any. So, until next time, y'all be safe out here, cuz. When you have a significant other that doesn't trust you, it can be really tiring to deal with, especially on a day-to-day -day basis. Me personally, I'm, I'm guilty of doing that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I, I do have insecurities. But once I figured out why and where it came from, it, you know, it started to make sense and I was able to work on it in my relationships. My insecurities came from uh, a number of different things, man. First, of course, being cheated on in previous relationships. That kind of messed me up. Another is lack of confidence in myself. You know, always constantly comparing myself to other guys or whatever. And lastly, communication. Me not being able to open up and admit that, hey, I got these insecurity problems. I'll go more into details about it. Just in case, you know, it, it may help somebody that's out there watching. Soon as a nigga get some money, they try to spit on it They ain't put it on this bottle, so they can't sip on this Don't you try to boost me up, don't try to get on, bitch Cause I'ma act like I don't know you, nigga, that's real shit I'm from a place where you get chased with bull